Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, hello if you are new. My name is Jess and I'm a digital illustrator from New Zealand. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss, just how to make money as an artist even if you have a small audience. Whether you're a painter, illustrator or some other type of artist, I'm going to share some valuable tips with you on how to monetize your passion and grow your audience. Before we dive into the different income streams, let's talk about how to build an audience. It's essential to build a strong connection with your audience and potential customers. Here are some effective strategies. Define your niche. What makes your art unique? This will help to attract a target audience that really appreciates your style. Create a, a consistent brand across all of your online platforms. This includes your logo, color palette, fonts, and overall visual style. Interact with your followers regularly. Respond to comments, messages, and emails promptly. Ask for feedback and encourage conversation as much as you can. And utilize social media. Platforms like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, etc. can be powerful tools for artists. Regularly share your work, your behind the scenes, process, and stories to help keep your audience engaged with you. And if you can, collaborate with others. If you can work with other artists or influencers or brands, you'll be able to reach a new audience that wouldn't have found you otherwise. So now to the making money part. Diversify your income streams. In an ever-evolving world of art and creativity, having a diverse range of income streams is the key to success. By combining both passive and active income, artists can maximize earning potential while building a sustainable and fulfilling career. So here are the benefits of incorporating both income streams. First one, passive income. Passive income streams provide artists with the opportunity to earn money consistently. Even when you're not actively creating new pieces, you could still be earning some money from previous work. Here's why why this is so valuable. Passive income sources offer a level of stability by generating revenue regularly, regardless of your current output. This can help alleviate financial stress and provide a reliable income stream. Passive income allows artists to monetize their existing portfolio by licensing your artwork, selling digital prints, or utilizing print-on-demand platforms. Artists can earn royalties and commissions long after the initial creation. Passive income streams have the potential for scalability. Once you've set up all the systems and the framework, such as selling digital products, for example, you can reach a wider audience without significant additional effort. So let's explore some passive income sources specifically for artists. Print on demand platforms. I know these are everywhere right now, but like not so much the Etsy kind of version where you put something on a mug. Upload your artwork to websites like Society6 and Inprint. They handle the production, printing, and shipping of your designs on various products and then you earn a commission for every sale that's made. I personally have just started using Imprint and I'm in the really early stages of building a portfolio on there. But the amazing thing is once you've uploaded your art, there's nothing else you have to do other than market it out to people. And Imprint, for example, doesn't charge you a fee. All you have to do is apply because it's a website run by artists. They want to make sure that they're like only accepting certain people. So you submit some artwork to them, get approved, and then you can start selling your artwork too. And while they do take a reasonable commission off of each sale, it's kind of fair for the amount of work that they're doing on their end. So another version of this would be Creative Market. If you're more of a designer who does fonts, repeatable patterns, icons, clip art, like that sort of thing, listing them on Creative Market would be a really good place as other artists will go there to purchase these items and you can make passive income that way. If you're a photographer or illustrator, you could submit your work to websites like Shutterstock or Adobe Stock and then whenever someone licenses your image, you will earn a royalty for each one. And finally, the one that I've really gotten into, digital products. Create digital products such as ebooks, digital planners and template, tutorials, presets, it could be anything, which can be sold through platforms like Gumroad or Etsy. These products should provide value you for your audience while also generating passive income for you. Once it's all set up and good to go, there's not a lot of extra work in it for you, especially with websites like Etsy that have their own search driven traffic. The audience is already there looking for the products. There are a lot more passive income streams I could touch on such as affiliate marketing, but these sort of move to more towards people who already have a bigger audience. I'll leave that for another video. The second type of income is active income streams. These require a lot more direct involvement and engagement from the artist, but these streams offer unique benefits that complement passive income sources. Active income streams such as commissions or art classes provide artists with the opportunity to directly engage with their customer. This personal interaction helps create like a, a more real connection and it can help build a more loyal fan base. It also as an artist means you get to create something quite unique that you maybe wouldn't have got to do before. Active income streams help you to explore new creative avenues, experiment with different styles or offer specialized services. This flexibility not only helps keep the artist inspired but also might attract a broader range 
range of customers. Active income streams provide an immediate feedback and critique from clients and customers. This feedback loop allows artists to continuously grow and work on their craft, continuously improve their skills, gain valuable insights and grow as a professional. Active income streams often involve collaboration of some sort, whether it's partnering with other artists, hosting workshops or working with a client. These opportunities open doors for networking, expanding your reach and tapping into new markets. So alongside passive income streams, here are some examples of active income that do require more hands-on involvement, but that might be good to mix in with passive income. Offer custom artwork or personalized pieces to your audience. Promote commission openings on your website or on social media to attract potential clients. This was the first way that I monetized my artwork when I first started. And honestly, you would think you need a big audience for this, but you really don't. When I first started, I had a tiny audience and I still was getting a reasonable amount of commission requests. It wasn't anything I could earn a living from, but, but it did give me a base and I did find new clients based off previous commissions because their friends would see the artwork that I had done from the client sharing it. I can't recommend commissions more highly if you have the capacity to do them. Share your skills and expertise by hosting classes, either in person or online. Platforms like Skillshare or Domestica can help you reach a broader audience because again, the audience is already there on the platform looking for something. So if you can give them what they need, then you're in. Set up a Patreon or Ko-Fi account to allow your fans and audience to support your work through monthly subscriptions or one-off donations. In return, offer exclusive content, behind the scenes access or personalized rewards. This one I think can be tough to start out with because again, you need a little bit of an audience to get this going. But on the other side, as you're growing your audience, this one is gonna grow on its own as well, especially if you can give them some really tangible rewards that they're gonna to wanna to sign up for. Finally, organize getting your work displayed in gallery exhibits or sign up for pop-up art markets to showcase your work. Use these opportunities to sell your art and connect with a new audience face-to-face. -face. By combining both active and passive income streams, artists can create a harmonious balance between stability and creative exploration. While passive income provides a foundation of financial security Active income streams allow artists to engage with their audience, nurture their craft, and continuously evolve as professionals. Together, these income streams can create a resilient and rewarding artistic journey. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. See you in the next one.